This is our friend Andrew. He's the local artisan bread maker in our town and all around great guy. He converted his garage into a bakery and needed a way to cool off the bakery in the hot months by opening the garage door, but without letting any nature in. We brainstormed ideas and taking into account all of his specific needs, we designed a screen door with two smaller zippered entrances. So the screen can be left in place and the zippered doorways opened when necessary. Maybe this, maybe like this high, however high that is. I'll give you a measurement right now. Um, so zipper here? Yeah, zipper at one foot, zipper at four feet. Okay. In this video, then, I will go through the whole process of making this screen door, and hopefully the steps I follow will help you with your own similar project. The screen was ordered online by the yard. See description for links. This heavy outdoor canvas that so happens to match the outside color of Andrew's house was found at the local thrift store. Two inch wide Velcro and zippers, also by the yard, were also ordered online. Here's our zipper. This is gonna be the doorway. As you can see, when we put the zipper in, we're going to be adding this half to three quarters of an inch of material. And if I don't take anything away here, it's gonna leave the doorway looking a little bit baggy. So I think what I'm gonna do, since I'll, I just have snipped the two, um, the top st is staying connected. The top of the doorway will stay connected and then just the two sides will have zippers. I think I'll take the material off on the inside here so that the zipper just stays within that like doorway boundary. The screen is obviously not gonna fray, but if I'm going to all the trouble of making this door, I am going to put some fabric reinforcement around this and then put the zipper on because this is gonna be open and closed. And if anything's gonna fail, it's gonna be if this was just sewn to this. It's just, it doesn't, there's not enough to grab. So I'm gonna do something like this with this Velcro and put some of this outdoor material, not this width, this width is because of the... All right, so we've cut out our zipper segment and this zipper is going to fit really nicely into this half inch slot that we have created. 
all these edges will be reinforced. And then the zipper. So it just occurred to me a little late in the game that uh, there's going to be a zipper problem. If this zipper is going to go on the full doorway, then uh, we want it to be able to separate at the bottom. But right now, this there is no separating section. It's either going to zip all the way off or it's going to be like a portal that you walk through. So I've got to figure out how to finish this end so that it can zip all the way apart and then go back together over and over again. I think I have an idea. zips back on. The next problem would be when this is in place, having it come apart like this, which we don't want to do. So I think what I'll do is add uh, maybe a piece of Velcro across of here to keep it from separating from the bottom. I just realized that if I had taken the zipper and turned it around so that it zipped down to close and up to open, that I wouldn't have had to make a separating zipper at all. Ugh, you live and you learn. Thank you. 
ties or whatever? Yeah, ties or Velcro. I mean, Velcro would be, um, I don't know, faster? Yeah. But I don't know, what do you think? That's perfect. Okay. Um, so it could just be like this, and then there'd just be like some tabs you could like flap. Yeah, and they'll be like a bar. They'll be like a steel bar at the bottom to weight it down. Yeah, okay, so this is where it hits the floor. Do you want all this material still left here so that if you've got a bar could kind of roll and you could roll it in tight? Yeah, I'll just leave this material, but I'll make sure that it goes to the gray here. Cool. Oh, this is so sweet. This is gonna change my my summer baking life. Even fall baking. Yeah. yeah. 